ladies and gentlemen welcome back in today's video we're going to be going over the recent hero adjustments coming out for honor of kings on september 5th so probably when you're seeing this video the patch notes are already live but yeah i got the patch notes a couple of days earlier thanks to honor of kings to make this video for you guys so let's get into it stats nerfed lady zen reduce mid to late game damage and lower the slow effect of ultimate during the early and mid game Lady Zen has strong area crowd control and continuous poking capabilities. Her skill 1 also enhances survivability. We are slightly reducing her damage output and crowd control to allow other heroes to better compete against her. Passive. Base damage before was 250 to 500 plus 38% magical attack. Now it's 250 to 500 plus 30% magical attack. So you're losing 8% magical attack scaling here. Skill 1, base damage before 500, 100 per skill level, plus 80% magical attack. Now it's 500, plus 100 per skill level, plus 70% magical attack. So you're losing 10% magical attack scaling on the skill 1. Effect adjustments, icicle block radius reduced. So first skill, icicle block is going to have reduced radius. Got to see what that looks like in the game. Skill 2, base damage, 250 plus 50 per skill level to plus 35% magical attack. Now it's 250 plus 50 per skill level plus 30% magical attack. So again, you're losing 5% magical attack scaling here. Cooldown before 8 seconds minus 0.3 seconds per skill level. Now it's 8 seconds minus 0.2 seconds per skill level. So cooldown is also getting nerfed, but it's again 0.1. So it does, you're probably not going to notice it. Ultimate movement speed reduction before 50% slow for 2 seconds. Now it's 25% slow plus 12.5% per skill level for 1.5 seconds. So ultimate getting butchered. Um, yeah, this here is getting a massive, massive nerf. Um, definitely going to start seeing Lady Zen down in the A tier instead of the S tier that everyone is used to. Um, especially like in my previous tier list, I put her in the S tier, even though she got a couple of nerfs in the previous patch notes. But yeah, Lady Zen definitely super broken still. And this is a very huge nerf coming to her. Uh, a lot of scaling nerf, which is not good for a hero. And the ultimate is getting destroyed here. The slow went down from 2 seconds to 1.5 seconds. And instead of a 50% flat slow, it's 25%. And you're going to get 12.5% per skill level. So again not too good here for lady zen um definitely getting nerfed as they mentioned here from mid to late game so definitely it's going to be a bad day for lady zen players here but yeah next one is going to be luban stat nerf luban number seven decreased passive damage luban number seven has been outperforming outer marksman for a long time so it's time to tone him down a little bit if i recall correctly luban was buffed a patch or two patches ago so it's kind of surprising to see him get nerfed now but yeah passive damage to heroes before physical damage equal to 600 to 120 plus 4.5 percent of target max health plus one percent per hundred extra physical attack now physical damage equal to 50 to 100 plus four percent of max of targets max health plus one percent per hundred extra physical attack so pretty much you're losing 10 to 20 uh, physical damage here in the very beginning. And the 0.5% the scaling to the target's max health, but anything else is not really getting touched. I don't think it's a big nerf. Uh, Lu Ban has a lot of pressure in lanes, so I think they're trying to tone that down. Um, he's able to clear the lanes really fast and he's able to spam the first and se second skill. So having his passive nerf a little bit kind of makes sense. But yeah, Lu Ban... Uh, it's a very slight nerf. I don't think it's going to, you know, be too nerfed or affect anyone that is playing Luban. But yeah, if you're playing Luban, you're getting a small little nerf. Alain, kind of happy he is getting nerfed. Increase basic attack interval and reduce ultimate shield effect. Alain's continuous basic attack and counter attack capabilities with his ultimate have made him a strong contender in both the clash lane and team fights. We are slightly nerfing him to allow other heroes to better compete against him. Very nice. Basic attack attack interval before 0.6 seconds now is 0.7 seconds that is nice skill one meteor kill improve the skill one's shake effect and upward slash action compatibility okay so we got some optimization here for the first skill ultimate 
base shield provided to Elaine and teammates before 540 plus 270 per skill level plus 120 percent physical attack now is 450 plus 225 per skill level plus 100 percent so ultimate definitely getting nerfed here the shield um so yeah Elaine, pretty decent nerf i would say it's going to make him a lot more aggressive I would say in the team fights, he's going to have a lot of, you know, ha have a harder time getting into team fights and actually surviving. So I really like that his ultimate is pretty broken. The, the amount of shield he gets and also like his passive helps him to like get this life regen. So definitely is going to be a very nice landing nerf and it's going to balance out the class lane for sure. Liu Bei is getting a buff. Quite surprised about that. Increased ultimate stack and shield. And I'm saying I'm surprised because Liu Bei hasn't been touched for such a long time and he's pretty garbage hero. But yeah, now seeing him increase his ultimate's attack and shield. Let's see. Ultimate shield before 1000 plus 500 per skill level. Now is 1000 plus 500 per skill level plus 18% extra health. Ooh, that is spicy. We're going to have a Liu Bei tank coming up. Okay, Liu Bei tank build. Gonna get ready for that. I've been enjoying some of the tank junglers, like the Hang Sing tank. So this is definitely very nice. We're gonna have to see what kind of build we can come up with. But yeah, attack boost before 70 plus 35 per skill level. Now it's 100 plus 50 per skill level. All right. So yeah, Liu Bei is going to have an insane ultimate buff here. Plus 18% extra health means that he can go tank Liu Bei jungle now. That is gonna be fun. And he's also going to do a lot more damage, meaning that you do not need to build attack damage items on him since he's going to have this bonus damage here on the ultimate himself. So you could definitely go hybrid Liu Bei now. Um, I do not know the proper build right now, but I'm going to have to do some research and see what it looks like when the update goes live. But yeah, really liking the Liu Bei buff right here. Quite nice. Arlie is getting buff. Okay. Um, surprising. Just because how broken she is already. Early reduced cooldown for skill 1. Early's flexibility is her trademark, so we're reducing her early game cooldown to let her better showcase her strength. So skill 1 cooldown before 8 seconds, minus 0.5 seconds per skill level. And now it's 7.5 seconds, minus 0.4 seconds per skill level. Okay. It's not really too crazy, I would say. But yeah, it's, it's a little bit less, 0.5 seconds slower cooldown. So I guess if you are early one trick or if you're early abuser... The correct wording for that you're gonna have an easier time using your first skill stats buffed hong zong increased base movement speed okay he has been one of those characters that struck blade so hong zong base stats base movement speed from 350 to 365 again a very minor buff but it was a much needed buff for hong zong uh, needed that uh, movement speed erin stats buffed okay improved base stats erin can explore both physical and magical Equipment, we are improving her base stats to ensure she remains strong under different playstyles. Base movement speed from 360 to 370, very nice. Base health before 3142 plus 190.1 per hero level. Now 3245 plus 194 per hero level, okay? So that's a lot of health. Base physical attack before 164 plus 10.9 per hero level now is 166 plus 11.7 per hero level so base physical attack getting increased health getting increased and movement speed quite nice um none of their skills are getting touched so i guess that's gonna make sense because they want to just pretty much make her stronger overall so the base stats are getting adjusted here I would say overall is a pretty nice buff. I don't think Arian is going to move up that much still. But definitely this is the right direction for Arian. And she's going to still be able to build hybrid or just commit to one build now. And do a bunch of more damage. Again the health, the base health is pretty nice. She's going to have a lot of health. As you guys know you pretty much don't really take like. Uh, really like flash or like purify on Arian. You pretty much just commit to fights with frenzy. Uh, you actually kind of do take flash sometimes, but yeah, um, I would say overall, Arian, pretty nice buff here. Uh, the health is going to help her a lot, and also the physical, uh, the base physical attack is also quite nice as well here.
Stats buff for Yang Jian, reduce cooldown for skill 1 and ultimate and increase ultimate's healing. Yang Jiang often needs to dash into the enemy crowd who increases ultimate's recovery amount and frequency to help him sustain longer in combat. Skill 1, cooldown from 6 seconds, now is 6 seconds, minus 0.2 seconds per skill level, quite nice. Ultimate cooldown, before 28 seconds, minus 6 seconds per skill level, now is 22 seconds, minus 3 seconds per skill level. That's a very, very nice cooldown buff to the ultimate. Beam Heat Hill Recovery before 20, 220 plus 110 per skill level plus 5% extra health. Now it's 220 plus 110 per skill level plus 50% extra physical attack plus 5% extra health. So you're getting this plus 50% extra physical attack, meaning that you're going to be able to pretty much go full damage Yang Jiang and do crazy health recovery if you're one of those glass cannon players. But yeah, that's pretty much it um, with the hero balance adjustments. Let's just go over everything real quick. So as I mentioned before, Lady Zen pretty destroyed here. Uh, I think she will drop a tier or two. Luban, again, not a big nerf. I would say he's still going to be pretty strong and stay between the A tier in the Marksman tier list, at least for me. Alain, uh, definitely a big nerf to his ultimate, the shield. But we're going to have to see how he performs in the games now. But yeah, definitely a quite a large nerf here. Liu Bei, I will be waiting for this hero, the adjustments to come out, go live, and I'm gonna be definitely trying out Liu Bei, one of my favorite heroes in Arena of Valor. Uh, here, his ultimate does not work the same as it did in Arena of Valor, but obviously this is a very nice buff, the 18% extra health, meaning that he can go tank jungle now. So I cannot wait for that. Arlie again, very slight buff here, uh, even though she didn't need it, I would say. Hong Zong again, very slight buff, but he did need the movement speed increase. Erin, I love the base stat changes. She's definitely going to be a lot, you know, a lot easier to play just because the stats buffed here, the health and the physical attack. Yang Jiang, pretty good buff. I would say he's probably going to be seen a lot more in top lane, in the clash lane. So yeah, Yang Jiang, very nice buff here. But yeah, overall, um, this is a pretty good patch. I would say it's a pretty good patch note and buff and nerfs to heroes um lady zen got killed though it's very surprised they didn't really want to kill her in a couple patches ago but now they actually murdered her um but yeah that's pretty much it guys hope you guys enjoyed and let me know if you guys have any comments or if you guys have any questions about the patch notes and what are your thoughts let me know what do you think about these adjustments and that's pretty much it guys and i'll see you guys in the next video Peace out.